This is the story of a young man. His name is John. You might even know him. John has been a smart boy since he was young. He is athletic and popular. He plays the guitar once in a while and loves playing basketball. John grows up, goes to college, and graduates with good grades. He is young and unstoppable. He wants to change the world. You remember that stage of your life. John's dream is to be the world's most successful investor, the next Warren Buffett, and to make his dream come true, John makes his first move. He applies for a job as a junior financial analyst, brimming with hope and ambition. John sends out applications to all the major investment banks. And to his horror, he was rejected by all of them. John is crushed, weighed down by disappointment and confusion. He talks to his favorite economics professor, Professor Polovsky. John asks, "Professor Polovsky, what's happening? I don't get it. The economy is recovering. Am I not good enough?" Professor Polovsky laughs and said, "Ha ha ha." Don't be too hard on yourself. The economy is experiencing a jobless recovery. Companies are making more money, but hiring less people. John is now confused. How is that possible? Professor Polovsky explains. <clears throat> It's really simple. Many junior jobs are now done by algorithms, not humans. The banks don't need junior analysts like you to analyze data. Algorithms can do it a million times faster than you. Technology has automated blue-collar jobs in the past. Now it's starting on skilled white-collar jobs too. John is really worried. I can't compete with algorithms. Am I ever going to find a job? Professor Polovsky laughs again. <laughs> you worry too much. The economy is still in good shape. When we look back in time to the Industrial Revolution, we see that technology replaced many farming jobs. But in the long term, technology created more jobs in factories. And if we fast forward to the future, technology is replacing white collar jobs now, but will create new jobs in the long term. The key, my boy, is the long term. John is relieved. Phew! I was so scared. But when will that be? Two years? That's pretty long. More like twenty years. John flips. Twenty years is forever. I can't wait twenty years for technology to create new jobs. Professor Polovsky isn't so worried. Your career is like climbing a ladder leading up to your dreams. Algorithms aren't going to replace all jobs. They are cutting away the bottom rungs of the job ladder, but they reinforce the really high-skilled jobs at the top rungs. You just have to keep trying, and you'll be fine. Now this leaves John more confused than ever. What's he supposed to do? Should he take up some minimum wage, boring work? Not really. Or should he keep trying for the higher level, higher wage work that he is trained for and really wants? How can he build the skills needed to reach the top of the ladder? What if he never gets there? What should John do? What should all of them do? For more information, read our work on Future of Jobs or visit us at futuresgroupsg.com.